In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 22, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games, after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Miami Marlins vs Atlanta Braves The MLB season continues into Monday with an intriguing and National League East matchup as the Miami Marlins face off against the Atlanta Braves. The Braves boast a more dependable lineup and have rediscovered their ability to dominate against left-handed pitching, reminiscent of their performance for much of the previous season. Meanwhile, the Marlins' offense remains inconsistent, and Elder played a significant role in Atlanta's rotation last year. Although the Marlins present an argument for consideration, offering enticing plus money odds. Ryan Weathers is currently enjoying his most successful month as an MLB pitcher. In his last 16 innings, he has allowed only three earned runs while striking out 17. On the other hand, Bryce Elder will be making his first start of the season, making it uncertain how he will perform. Despite these points, the Marlins have historically struggled against the Braves, and Weathers' overall career record suggests that a couple of recent strong starts may not entirely redeem his track record. Therefore, the Atlanta Braves to win and cover the spread as favorite is our full game side pick. The visitors have posted a slash line of .217, .268, .337, and .604 on the road and have not enjoyed much success against either right-handed or left-handed pitchers. Although the Braves might not be deploying their top pitchers, Lopez has excelled in his role thus far. He should be poised for a solid outing against the Marlins, likely cruising through at least three or four innings. It's unlikely that the Marlins will mount a significant challenge against the Atlanta bullpen, which ranks 10th in earned run average and 6th in WHIP. Weathers has had a strong start to the season and should not be overly daunted by the impending matchup. While Atlanta possesses considerable talent, their lineup is somewhat diminished without the injured Aussie Albies. If the young left-handed pitcher Weathers can provide the Marlins with extended innings, it would bolster confidence in their bullpen. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Toronto Blue Jays vs. Kansas City Royals The Toronto Blue Jays are scheduled to visit Kauffman Stadium on Monday for the first of a four-game series against the Kansas City Royals. Over the weekend, Toronto secured a 5-2 victory against the San Diego Padres. This win marked their second consecutive victory and their sixth win in the last seven games. Conversely, Kansas City suffered a setback on Saturday, losing 9-7 to the Baltimore Orioles, and they have dropped two of their last three games. In the current standings, Toronto occupies the third position in the American League East, while Kansas City holds second place in the American League Central. Notably, Toronto will be missing two pitchers for this series, whereas Kansas City will be without five pitchers. This matchup promises to be competitive, with both starting pitchers demonstrating strong performances leading up to the game. Yusei Kikuchi, Toronto's starter, has allowed just five runs in his last 21.2 innings pitch, during which the Blue Jays have achieved a 2-2 record. Meanwhile, Brady Singer of Kansas City has given up four runs over 23.1 innings in his recent outings, contributing to his team's 4-0 record during that span. Singer's vulnerability to home runs suggests his effectiveness in other critical situations. The key distinction in this game may lie in offensive productivity, where the Royals have shown greater strength. Kansas City ranks 16th in batting average and 7th in slugging percentage, in contrast to Toronto's 20th and 21st rankings, respectively. Furthermore, the Royals excel in runs scored, ranking 10th, while Toronto lags behind in 21st place. Kansas City also enjoys a strong home record of 9-3, whereas Toronto has a less impressive 6-6 record on the road. Kansas City enters this game with a four-game lead above .500, boasting a solid 9-4 record at home despite losing three of their last four matches. The Royals have demonstrated exceptional pitching this season, placing near the top of MLB in team earned run average. On the other hand, Toronto arrives with three consecutive series wins and has scored at least four runs in four of their last five games. Yusei Kikuchi will take the mound for the Blue Jays, having allowed only two earned runs and 11 hits in his last 17.1 innings pitched. 
Brady Singer, starting for Kansas City, has maintained an impressive streak of allowing two earned runs or fewer in all four of his starts this year. While both pitchers have excelled thus far, favoring the home team seems prudent, making the Kansas City Royals' money line our full-game side pick. As previously noted, Toronto's Yusei Kikuchi boasts a stellar 2.08 earned run average, while Kansas City's Brady Singer sports an equally impressive 1.54 earned run average. Kansas City stands fifth in team earned run average at 3.1, with Toronto not far behind at 24th but still respectable with a 4.4 earned run average. Noteworthy trends include the under-finishing in four of Kansas City's last six games and in five of Toronto's last seven games. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total Total pick. Chicago White Sox vs. Minnesota Twins The Chicago White Sox, with a record of 3-18, are set to face off against the Minnesota Twins, who are 7-13, in an upcoming four-game series starting this Monday. Throughout this season, the White Sox have encountered significant challenges, particularly on the road, where they hold a dismal 1-9 record heading into this matchup. Similarly, the Twins have struggled on their home turf, arriving at this game with a 2-6 record in home games. Both teams enter this series amid a slump, having lost five of their last six games. The White Sox, in particular, have struggled immensely, dropping nine out of their last ten games overall, including a three-game losing streak. Furthermore, both the White Sox and Twins are struggling offensively, with batting averages below .200 for the season, making them the two lowest scoring teams in Major League Baseball. Last season, the Twins dominated the head-to-head -head series, winning nine out of the 13 games played against the White Sox. Specifically at home, the Twins boasted a 5-1 record against the White Sox in 2023. While rookie Cannon showed promise in his initial start against the Royals, pitching a solid five innings, the White Sox's bullpen has been unreliable ranked 13th in earned run average and 8th worst in WHIP across MLB. On the other hand, the Twins' bullpen has performed better with a commendable 2.87 earned run average and the 9th best WHIP in baseball. It's evident that the Twins are primed for a turnaround, commencing on Monday with Chris Paddock taking the mound. Eager for a rebound after a rough outing in his last start, the White Sox, as the league's worst road team this season, have not found success with their opener strategy as anticipated. Historically, the Twins have held a winning record against the White Sox, winning seven out of their last ten matchups dating back to last season. Therefore, the Minnesota Twins' money line is our full game side pick. The White Sox offense is currently averaging just over two runs per game, while the Twins are averaging slightly over three runs per game. Both teams have struggled at the plate this season, batting in the high point 100 seconds and failing to generate significant power or base hits. Their bass running has suffered as a consequence of their inability to consistently reach base. With both starting pitchers looking to make a statement, the focus will undoubtedly shift to how these struggling offenses perform on Monday. With both teams batting below .200 for the season and collectively hitting only 26 home runs, the prospect of a high-scoring game seems unlikely. The White Sox have trended towards unders, going under the total in three out of their last five games leading up to Sunday's matchup in Philadelphia. Conversely, while the the Twins games have gone over the total in three of their last six games. They have also been held to two runs or less in nine games this season. Considering the offensive struggles of both teams, it's difficult to have confidence in an overbet. Under the projected total emerges as our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.